Coach Kathy DeAngelis, uh, the Pride with a one nothing loss to number seven ranked uh, Great Danes Albany today. Your assessment of today's game? Uh, it was a fantastic game. I'm absolutely so proud of how we performed. Uh, we had a lot of chances. We played great defense. I think it was our defensive structure overall and individual defense that, that really allowed us the opportunities that we had on the attack. Coach, there were a couple of passes in the first half where it kind of like just slipped by that almost would have given Hofstra a possibility to score in the first half. Is there anything in particular you want to comment about that? Right. I, you know, we, we were a little anxious. Uh, I thought we were playing really, really sound. And uh, when we had been given those type of opportunities, I think we might have been a little bit frantic and, and pushed some of those passes and not as, as poised as we could have been. And I think that could have led to probably some better execution and... and, and Last big corner and a goal, but I felt we in the second half turned it around and were much more poised. We had a number of opportunities um, in Albany Circle, and unfortunately, I think their goalkeeper played outstanding. And uh, you know, it was unfortunate we couldn't get on the board. There was a flurry in the uh, early in the second half, uh, right in front of the goal. Um, what did you say to the team uh, at halftime that they came out with a little more fire? Right. Well, number one, we were playing great, great hockey and we really didn't need to change a thing. Uh, we really need to maintain what we were doing. When you're, when you're playing a team of that type, that caliber, a team that's gone the Final Four, the championship game against UConn last year, and return, return pretty much the, the entire team, and, and you know you're gonna be faced with the, the most challenging game, and you're playing that well, you know, why change anything? Uh, we got to try to make a few breaks and uh, open up open up the field a little bit to try to get some shots off. Uh, but but really, it wasn't a matter of changing; it's a matter of maintaining what we were doing. I think this game is like a good measuring stick of what this team is maybe capable of doing in future games. Oh, absolutely! I just you know, anyone was here today and was going to watch on film. I mean, there's a lot of times that we dominated this game, and, and you know, we we were really happy about that. I think our ball possession skills. Uh, and our technical skills, are, we were tactically, we were prepared for the game. It's promising. It's promising to be able to play that great against such a quality opponent. Moving on to next game on Friday's game, you guys are on a three-game losing streak now. What do you tell your team to pick up the momentum? Well, you know, this was a tough stretch for us in, in these three three games and all teams in the in the NCAA. Uh, we're not to take any team lightly. We need to play Hofstra field hockey. We need to play where we just left off today, and we need to take that to Ryder and just continue to get better. And we, we talked about it pregame. The most important thing is developing and getting better every single day, and that's really what's going to really going to give us the um, pre preparation that we need. We're not going to wake up and be great. We're not going to wake up and be in the CA championship. We need to do this day in, day out. So uh, that's really been our focus. Thanks, Coach.